Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has eight scriptures. The first seven I will recite for you now from the King James Version of the Bible and the last one will be at the end of this prophetic word in a separate video and it is taken from the New King James Version. The first scripture is the book of Isaiah chapter 26 verses 15 through 21 and it reads, Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord, thou hast increased the nation. Thou art glorified, thou hast removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee? They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pangs, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child, we have been in pain, we have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. The second scripture is the book of Lamentations, chapter 1, verses 16 through 20, and it reads, For these things I weep, mine eye, mine eye runneth down with water, because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My children are desolate, because the enemy prevailed. Zion spreadeth forth her hands, and there is none to comfort her. The Lord hath commanded concerning Jacob that his adversary should be round about him. Jerusalem is as a menstruous woman among them. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandment. Hear, I pray you, all people, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity." I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and mine elders gave up the ghost in the city while they sought their meat to relieve their souls. Behold, O Lord, for I am in distress. My bowels are troubled. Mine heart is turned within me, for I have grievously rebelled. Abroad the sword bereaveth. At home there is a death. The third scripture is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The fourth scripture is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verses 12 through 21, and it reads, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness 
is great multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the lord is near in the valley of decision the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining the lord also shall roar out of zion and utter his voice from jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but the lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of israel so shall ye know that i am the lord your god dwelling in zion my holy mountain then shall jerusalem be holy and there shall no strangers pass through her any more and it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine and the hills shall flow with milk and all the rivers of judah shall flow with waters and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the lord and sh shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. The fifth scripture is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 9, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. The sixth scripture is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 through 28, and it reads, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the water the waves roaring men's hearts felling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. The seventh scripture is a book of Revelation, chapter 16, verses 12 through 15, and it reads, And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty." Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Now for the message given from the Lord God on July 10th, 2024. The ordeal is real, my beloved daughter. Can't you feel it in the air? The wind. The winds are changing. The atmosphere is increasingly hotter. Wind shear and a drought of water. Look to the Euphrates. You will see the difference, for it is drying up. Can't you see? There are many changes happening rapidly. The seas and the waves are roaring. The news media is playing down these erratic weather changes. They do not want to incite a panic. How would they control you? The government would be overthrown if everything known would be told to the public. It is historic, I tell you. 
no one in this modern age has ever experienced days such as these. I do not tell you these things to instill fear upon my children, no, for fear is of the enemy. I only wish to prepare you to be ready for what is about to occur. My beloved children, these planets they have been secretly hiding from you are colliding now with your planet Earth. I am telling you so you will understand the day is at hand for you to witness my judgments upon the land. These planets are so very close now. Windstorms are whipping up the climactic norms into extraordinary planetary anomalies. Stay close to me, my beloveds, for what was once designed as a warning sign by me to prepare your hearts for the timing of the arrival of this new planetary system was tampered with. Many times your sun is eclipsed by the artificial one. This was supposed to prepare you for my imminent arrival. Regrettably, the enemy has veiled your perception of the reality of what is supposed to be currently visible in the skies above. I love you, my children. I am telling you now to show you how much I care about where your soul will go once it leaves its body. This planetary intrusion will no longer be in an illusion from the enemy. I am restoring it for all eyes to see. Everyone will know of my imminent return in the skies above. Everyone will learn of me and my desire to take you away with me through the clouds to New Jerusalem. I am shouting aloud for everyone to be alerted to the lateness of the hour. Greatness will appear after darkness for three days and nights. Now is the time to get to know who your Savior is. Seek me out and I will reveal myself unto thee. Read my words in the book of Amos and Joel. You will see what is yet to unfold do it now as you are told by my faithful servant. Be observant and watchful, for now is not the time to rest on your laurels. Make up your minds of who you are to me. Be mine today and pray to be deemed worthy so that the enemy has no rights to the with everlasting love jesus your blessed hope and holy redeemer of god for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind the book of second timothy chapter 1 verse 7